Imagine completing a full concrete house, from empty land to structure, in just two weeks. No delays, no wasted materials, no weather problems slowing things down. That's the power of modern construction using precast concrete systems, but this kind of speed doesn't happen by accident, it all starts with preparation. The first phase is digital design, engineers and architects come together to plan every inch of the house before any ground is touched. They use Building Information Modeling, or BIM, to create a full 3D model of the building. This model includes the walls, floors, roof, water pipes, electrical lines, windows, doors, and even the paint layers. Nothing is left to chance, every measurement is exact. That's because when you're building at this speed, you don't have time for trial and error. After the model is complete and approved, the next step is precasting. This happens inside a specialized concrete factory far from the actual site. Instead of building everything on site from scratch, the major components of the house, like external walls, internal partitions, staircases, and even the roof slabs are all manufactured in advance. In the factory, huge steel molds are prepared based on the building plans. These molds are like reusable templates, workers first place reinforcing steel bars and mesh inside the mold. Then they insert sleeves for plumbing, ducts for electrical wiring, window frame casings, and door outlines. Once everything is arranged, high-grade concrete is poured in. The mold is vibrated to remove trapped air and make sure the concrete fills every gap. After pouring, the mold is closed and left in a climate-controlled room for curing. Because the temperature and moisture levels are controlled, the concrete hardens quickly without cracks or weaknesses. Within 24 to 48 hours, the panels are strong enough to transport. Now while the precast panels are curing in the factory, a separate crew is already working on the building site. First, they clear the land, remove any vegetation, and grade the surface. Then, they dig trenches for the foundation lines and begin setting up reinforcement bars. After the rebar is tied and laid properly, concrete is poured to create the slab foundation. This base is very important. It must be perfectly level and strong enough to carry the full weight of the structure that's coming next. Once the foundation is set, trucks start arriving on site, loaded with the precast wall panels from the factory. Each panel is labeled to match the exact location it belongs to on the foundation. A tower crane or mobile crane is used to carefully lift each panel and place it in position. Workers secure them using bolts, grout, and steel connectors. The alignment is checked constantly to ensure everything is accurate. This process saves time, reduces construction errors, and delivers a much cleaner job site. Now that the foundation is fully set and cured, the next phase begins, assembling the structure panel by panel. Precast wall panels arrive on site in batches. These panels include both external and internal walls. Each one has already been cured and tested for strength at the factory. They're not just walls, they're engineered to fit perfectly with built-in insulation, embedded conduits, window and door spaces, and structural reinforcements inside. Using a crane, each wall panel is lifted carefully and placed exactly where it belongs. This is where the accuracy of earlier digital modeling pays off. There's no room for guesswork, every wall must align perfectly with the others and with the foundation beneath. To secure the panels, workers use high-strength bolts and fasteners. Then, joints between the panels are filled with special grout or concrete to lock everything into place. Within hours, what used to take days with manual block work is already standing. On day three or four, the internal partition walls are installed. These are thinner but equally strong panels used to separate rooms and spaces inside the house. Because they're also pre-cast, installation is quick and clean. There's no messy plastering, no noisy chiseling, just efficient placement. As the walls go up, another team gets to work preparing the columns and beams that will hold up the upper floor or the roof, depending on the design. 
In many cases, precast lintels, beams, and even staircase units are already included in the delivery. They're slotted into place with lifting equipment and immediately anchored with concrete or steel brackets. Next comes the roof slab. In a two-story design, this would be the floor slab for the upper level. Just like the walls, the slab is precast, delivered, and installed using a crane. It rests on the beams and walls and is locked in securely. This slab is usually reinforced with steel mesh and is strong enough to carry future loads like water tanks, air conditioners, or even solar panels. Roofing options vary. Some systems use precast roof panels that fit together like a puzzle. Others use lightweight steel trusses that are bolted together on site. Once the trusses are up, roofing sheets or tiles are installed to complete the roof line. At this stage, around day five or six, the full structure of the house is already in place. External walls, internal walls, beams, floors, and roof are all done. What usually takes weeks in traditional construction has now been completed in just days. And the best part, most of the embedded infrastructure, things like electrical piping, water supply lines, window and door frames were built right into the panels during the precasting process. That means interior finishing can begin almost immediately. By now, the house has shape, strength and structure. What's left is sealing, insulation, finishing, and all the touches that turn it from a shell into a livable home. By the end of the first week, the house already stands tall. The walls are up, the roof is fixed, the internal layout is defined. Now, it's time to turn this structure into a finished home. The first step in this final phase is sealing the building. All panel joints and roof connections are inspected and sealed with waterproofing compounds. This protects the structure from rain, moisture, and air leaks. After waterproofing, insulation is added where necessary. Some precast wall systems already come with insulation inside, but additional layers may be added for thermal comfort. This is especially important in regions with hot or cold climates where energy efficiency matters. Next, the electrical and plumbing teams begin their work. But unlike traditional construction, they don't need to break walls or chase pipes. Everything has been planned in advance. Most of the electrical conduits and plumbing lines are already embedded inside the panels. All they have to do is connect wires, fix socket outlets, attach switches, light fixtures, water lines, and drainage fittings. This saves a lot of time and reduces the chance of errors or rework. While that's going on, the plastering and painting team starts prepping the internal walls. In many cases, precast panels have smooth finishes and don't need traditional plaster. A light skim coat is applied to even out the surface before painting. The house begins to transform. Tiles are laid on the floors. Bathrooms and kitchens are fitted with sanitary wares and fixtures. Windows and doors, which were already placed inside the precast openings, are secured and aligned properly. At the same time, the exterior of the building is being cleaned and coated. Whether it's paint, cladding, or decorative rendering, the outside finish gives the house its final identity. Now it's time to test everything. Water pressure is checked. Light switches and sockets are tested. Appliances like water heaters and air conditioners are connected and powered on. Every part of the system is inspected to ensure it works as intended. By day 13, the house is almost fully complete. Only minor adjustments, touch-ups, and cleaning remain. Site debris is cleared, the compound is leveled, and landscaping may be added if required. On day 14, the project is handed over. From an empty plot to a finished home, all done in just two weeks. What makes this speed possible is not just the materials or the machines. It's the coordination, the planning, and the precision that goes into every stage. It's the ability to think ahead, design smart, and execute without delays. This is the future of modern housing, efficient, reliable, and fast. A home that is built to last, yet delivered in record time. And that's how a house is built with concrete in just two weeks.